So the first module we're going to be using on the micro bit is the display module. And that's a five by five grid of LEDs. We can use it to display text, to display images, to alert users to things. But before we can get into that, we need to understand the API's documentation. This is the document that gives us information about what functions do and how to use them. So here's the API uh, with a bit of an introduction. I'll just scroll through here, there's some introduction tutorials. What we're most interested in is this table of contents, which shows us all the different modules. What we're particularly interested in is the display module. As you can see, once you jump in here, you get a nice overview as well as a list of all of the functions that are available, including their parameters and what they do. And right at the bottom, you also have a nice example. So next, we're going to use some of these functions to actually start getting things to flash up on the LED. And we're gonna start by writing some text across the screen. So the first thing we need to do then is we'll clear the screen and we'll start from scratch. And then we need to import all of those functions that the API gives us. So, standard Python from the name of the API that we're using. And we'll, we'll just block import all of the functions. Not the tidiest, but it's a quick and easy solution. With that, then we can start getting going. Um, what we're gonna do is have a loop that goes on forever. Without that, uh, what we're about to run will only run once, and then it'll end, and it isn't very entertaining or interesting. So we're gonna, we've got this uh, while true loop that will go on forever. So then what do we want to do? Well, if we look through some of these functions, we see that we can uh, change values of single pixels with the set pixel function, and it also reads that value. That's not very interesting, really. What about then if we keep on going down and we've got a display.scroll? So what this does is it will scroll a block of text. So let's give that a go. So we're going to call the function, and then we're, we're going to provide one argument, which is what we want to say. And we'll say, hello world. Nice and easy. And then we'll upload that to the microbit. So that's very nice. Uh, we were able to get text to scroll across the microbit with one line of code, which is quite cool. But there's something even nicer here in the API, which is a display.show, which apparently allows us to display an image. So let's give that a go. Again, just by calling the function. And then we need to put an image uh, inside as a parameter. What is that supposed to be? Well, if we go back to the API, to the doc, to the contents, we should be able to find in here a section on the image, which will give us details about how we can use that. So if we open that up, We'll scroll through, we're reading, we're reading, we're reading. Eventually we'll find that there's a, a bunch of attributes which are images which are pre-loaded onto the microbit we can use. So if we want to do a heart, we'd use image.heart. If we want to do happy, we'd do image.happy. So let's give image.happy a go. And now, we'd be tempted uh, to upload this to our microbit straight away. And if we do that now, you're gonna see you have an error. If we upload this, we'll see the microbit says hello world and then we see we don't see happy face and the reason for that is is because we are in a loop here so we're scrolling we're saying hello world then we move on to our show a happy image but before we have a chance to see it we're going back around to that hello world again so as humans we're not fast enough to read it so what we're going to have to do then is to get the micro bit to s delay for a bit so that we're actually able to see it and we can do that with a sleep function and we'll make it wait half a second. So the sleep function takes milliseconds as a parameter. So 500 milliseconds is half a second. If I wanted to wait a second, I'd have a thousand in there. So if we upload this now to the microbit, we should see hello world scroll across and then a smiley face. We can play around with it a bit more. So let's make it flash between happy and sad. So we're going to call show again. This time we'll do sad. And again, we need to remember our, our delay. Otherwise, you won't see that sad face. 
upload that to the micro bit and you should see your micro bit oscillating between happy sad happy sad So feel free to stop there and have a play around with all these different images, see all the different images that are available on the micro bit. But there's also something very cool that we can do. If we carry on looking through this API documentation, you'll find that there's a way to define your own image. And if we read here, we can see that digits 0 to 9 are arranged into lines. Uh, the 0 value means that the LED is off. The 9 means that it's at its brightest brightness. And the numbers in between there are a, a slow increase in value. So what I'm going to try and do is create a, a, a gradient of increasing brightness as my image, which will be a bit boring, but we'll give it a go. So we'll call the image gradient. We're going to make our own image using the same syntax that they've given in the API here. Instead, I'm going to increase it. So I'll start with the LED off, then at two brightness, four brightness, six and eight. That's my five LEDs across. And then I start my next row of LEDs, which I'll do exactly the same. And I'm going to do this for each of the five rows. It's a bit boring, but we'll be able to see how it works. So let's see if that works. We've created our image called Gradient. What we all simply have to do then is replace that previous image with our image that we've created. If we upload that to the micro bit, what you will see now is a grad gradient of increasing brightness. So, so far in this lesson, you will have learned how to get text to scroll across the micro bit screen, as well as also how to load images which are al already loaded on the micro bit and also how to have created your own images. So you can take those ideas, play around with them, maybe even try and animate some kind of walking stick figure, or maybe animate a boat going across the screen. For that, you'll need to create your own images and you'll need the sleep function, but it'll be a nice challenge. So give it a go.